A very warm and heartly good morning to sir. Today we are going to explain what is interconnection structure. Our team consists of four members, Kushan Tripathi, Chetali Bandokar, Mausam Raj and myself Shakti Singh. Interconnection structure. A computer consists of a set of components like CPU, memory, input output module that communicate with each other. The collection of paths connecting the various modules is called an interconnection structure. The structure design will depend on the exchange that must be made between modules. Memory module. A memory module is a computer part that holds a random access memory, measured in gigabytes or megabytes. All of these bytes are placed in a small circuit on a memory module stack, making it easy for anyone to replace or add more RAM as the computer needs it. Input and Output Module It is an internal part of a computer that performs read and write operations. An input and output module has two major functions to perform. Interface to the procession memory, interface to one or more peripheral devices by tailored data links. It contains logic for performing a communication function between the peripheral and the bus. Now I would like to call Chetali to explain other parts of a PPT. Thank you. Hey, it's Chetali and I'll be continuing with processing module. The processing module reads and writes the data by processing the instruction. As you can see here, as an input, instruction data and interrupt signal is taken in by the CPU. After processing, it uses the control signal to control the overall computer system. Like here, you can see the internal data, external data and instruction signal is passed on to the whole computing system. Now let's look at types of interconnections. There are four types. First is the memory to processor in which the processor reads the instruction or unit of the data from the memory. Second is the processor to memory. In this, the processor writes a instruction to data to memory. Third is the input output to processor. The data reads from the input output module. Fourth and the final is the processor to input output. In this, the processor sends the data to input output devices. This is all. I will be handing it over to Sushant to explain the bus interconnection. Bus interconnection. Bus interconnection is important component of computer architecture. It is a communication channel and it connects various components of the computer to communicate with each other. Bus structure. A uh, system bus consists of 50 to 100 lines and each line is assigned a particular meaning or function. On any bus, the lines can be classified into three groups that are data lines, address lines and control lines. The control lines. It is used, they are used to control the access to and the use of data and address lines. Trip, uh, some typical control lines include memory write, memory read, input output read or input output uh, write, clock, reset, bus request, bus grant, interrupt request, interrupt ACK, transfer ACK, etc. Data line. Data line provides a path of moving data between systems and modules. These lines collectively are called the data bus. The data bus typically consists of 8, 16 or 32 separate lines. The number of lines begins transformed to as the width of the data bus. Each line carry only one bit at a time. The number of lines determine how many bits can transfer at a time overall system performance. Address line. The address line used to designate the source or destination of the data on the data bus. The width of the address bus determines the maximum possible memory capacity of the system.